the earth was wicked. Well, actually, all the people who dwelt on the earth were wicked. So wicked that God determined to destroy the whole world by returning it to the watery chaos and starting over. Then, one of those most amazing verses we find in the scriptures. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. God acted in grace towards Noah. So God told Noah, build an ark out of wood, and by that wood, God would save Noah and his family through the waters. Water and wood to save. Does this sound familiar to you? It should. St. Peter says that the water and wood of Noah's day point us to holy baptism. Just as Noah's family was saved, eight souls in all, from the destruction and death by wood and the water, this same thing is true for you. The wood that saves you is the death of Jesus on the cross. There on the wood of the cross, Jesus speaks your absolution. Father, forgive them. He pays the wages of your sin with his death. He sheds his blood to cover your sins and remove them from you. The water is the water of holy baptism, which, with the word of God, saves you from the evil of the world and your own wickedness. As St. Paul states, Therefore we were buried with Jesus through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. In the waters of holy baptism, Jesus joined you to himself, so that by the waters of baptism and the wood of the cross, where he suffered and died for you, you have been brought safely through the death and destruction, like Noah, to new life in Christ. Now the wood is also found in the Ark of the Holy Christian Church where you hear God's word and receive his sacraments for your salvation. There you are gathered, not just eight souls, but with all of the faithful, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven to be carried safely through this stormy world until the day God sets you on his holy mountain to live with him forever. 